the Malabar of 19th and 20th centuries was notorious for its caste discrimination. It is in that context that uh, this form, circus, it's a modern form, right? It came from Europe uh, to India. The guru or father of circus acrobatics in Malabar, Kileri Kunyakanan teacher, he established this institute called Circus Kalari. He was a Kalari Paiti practitioner. Kalari Paiti has its own, like each caste practiced their own Kalaris. Thiyas had their own Kalaris, Puleyas had their own Kalaris, Nayas had their own Kalaris. That was the way Kalari Paiti used to be practiced during the early 20th century. But he actually uh, converted the traditional Paiti Kalari, where caste and its embedded social status dominated in many ways into a circus gallery. He has traveled far and wide to learn many of the physical cultures of the time and he translated this into circus acrobats and trained acrobats from many of the lower caste communities. Thiyas, Shaliyas, the fishermen community, Mukuas were people who uh, embraced this form and took this as a venture to cross borders, not just across India but traveled uh, around the world to work in uh, performance arenas. And this moment was a significant moment in the history of the circus itself. I mean, not just Indian circus, but in the history of race, caste, and uh, other kinds of uh, inequalities. There are people like by the age of 14, they must have traveled almost like 12 countries and earned a handsome amount to buy their own land or like build a house of their own. Uh, so a circus and acrobatics have actually given uh, career to many of the marginalized groups. Mm -hmm.